Being homeless is already difficult enough, but if you're homeless and then seriously injured, where do you recover after being released from a hospital? That's the reality for some, unfortunately, and the Boise Rescue Mission is stepping in to help with a new facility. Shira Matsuzawa is live in Napa where she just toured that facility. Shira? Brian, the Rescue Mission's first recovery lodge is meant to meet a critical need here in the Valley, and it's been in the works for a couple of years, and now it's set to open next month. For us, the need has been there since the beginning. This facility will be serving those people who are uh, ready to be discharged from the hospital, but they're not quite ready for the 128 bed dorm at the River of Life. The Rescue Mission Recovery Lodge opens its doors for business on July 17th. Two years ago, we served uh, a homeless mom and her infant son, newborn son, who was critically ill and uh, really needed a place to stay that was a level up from the dorm at City Light. That newborn was the inspiration behind the recovery lodge. When we saw Henry, the baby, and his terrible situation, it really motivated us to say we've got to find a way to serve people coming out of the hospital, homeless people who are coming out of the hospital that need a little extra level of care than what we can provide at the rescue mission shelter. On Wednesday, KTVB toured the facility ahead of the grand opening. This side of the building is going to be for women and children, so there will be some cribs in two or three of these rooms. The facility will house 30 to 45 guests who have had major surgery or a serious illness and may need a quieter place to recuperate. We have mothers with infant children that are premature and have health issues when they're born. And for those people, this place is going to be the shelter they come to that will offer them better supervision, a much better interaction with home health care and the medical professionals from the community who are assigned to serve them. The new facility is just steps away from the Valley Women and Children's Shelter. We really got a great deal on the property. The owner was a, a friendly owner who wanted to help the rescue mission and we bought the building for uh, about $750,000 and it's appraised much, much higher than that. Uh, people in the community have stepped up and donated the money to buy the building. Others have also stepped in and donated to the overall project. It's a beautiful facility. It's in great shape. It's going to serve us really well for a long time. Now, in case you're wondering, this building used to be a nursing home. Meantime, uh, the grand opening here will be on July 17th. Then they'll open for business the next day and uh, they still need some help. So if you're interested in being a volunteer or working here, they want to hear from you. Brian. Well, I'm sure a lot of people are going to take advantage of that because you only get so many days to recover at a hospital. Thank you very much, Shira.